early on, the artwork was, uh, the, 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 there were no descriptions for the artwork. Uh, went, it was, uh, you'd get the title of the card, uh, yes, we'd read it to you the, over the phone. He'd read you a, a, a list of the, of the uh, you know, all the cards that had to be done. And you'd stop them on the ones that you liked the sound of. You know, and, and so you'd check it off and then you'd write it down. So you, so you made your own list, you know, over the phone with him. And um, you, you'd do a, a preliminary sketch. And I was taking as many cards as I could possibly handle. And towards the end, you know, before they were pushing it out the door to go to print, um, they were, you know, artists were dropping left and right, and Jesper had to like, you know, collect all of these, uh, all this dropped art, and and I was trying to help him out with as much of that as I could. In the original set, the the my favorite pieces that I've done would be, um, I like the Hurling Minotaur, um, Singer Vampire. Cyclopean Tomb might be my favorite. I tried to come at most of the artwork uh, that I did for Magic the Gathering with, without that sort of pre-judgment. Right. Uh, you know, and uh, Cyclopean Tomb is a pretty good example of something where yeah. it's, uh, it's almost as uh, surreal as it is yeah. uh, fantasy. One of my favorite pieces. Thank you again, Anson, for your time and inviting us to your studio. We had a great time learning more about you. Cool. If you'd like to learn more about uh, Anson's works and what he's doing, uh, check us out at mtgstores.com at the Artist Corner. Thank you.